all the first words that come in my mind is just the second devastation we had in there, but this is a beautiful place. I grew up in here, like back in here, walked in this swamp, trapped coons and rabbits and everything back here before Hurricane Cabesic destroyed it in 65. Actually, I started coming back here at 10 years old. Well, basically, this was a village that raised kids. Uh, everybody knew everybody, everybody uh, raised everybody, everybody looked out for everybody. And this was one big community of people who grew up together. Home is the soul of the people here that I couldn't find nowhere else. Uh, the food, come on, I earned this, okay? And uh, the music, those are the three things I couldn't find nowhere I've been. And the only way I could get them is come back home. In 51, it was not a bayou. All the way up to in the 60s, it was not a bayou that came around then. It didn't get to be what you see right now until MRGO was dug and Betsy come through in 1965. We don't have the protection from the storms that we had in the 60s and the 50s and the 40s. That's why we're having so many floods and things like that. Mother Nature is getting them more powerful and we're not protecting ourselves anymore. We're just letting the things that was protecting us go away. It's hard to talk about we're going to fight for coastal re restoration or fight for the Bible when we can't. We're still fighting to try to get a house back in the, in the area. Uh, my parents were not born here in the waters, they were born in the Bush Parish. However, I was born here. Uh, and it became special to me because my parents told me a lot of things about uh, our community.